In our last video, I walked you through putting together a desktop for under $1,000 that was capable of completing 40 Chia plots per day. With the price of Chia doubling in just a week since the last video, I figured I'd share a new build I just recently threw together for myself to harvest and generate more plots. This desktop can be put together for around $620 and it's capable of 35 to 40 plots per day, which comes out to 3.5 to 4 terabytes of plots per day. So let's get started. I should elaborate on why plotting quickly is important in the first place, especially right now. When you go to websites like chiacalculator.com and throw in numbers like 100 terabytes, it really doesn't tell the whole story. While it's true that you could make roughly $7,940 per month with just 100 terabytes of chia plots, the part of the story that's missing is the time it takes to actually create the plots, as well as the net space growth itself and the difficulty growing up while you're doing it. As I said in my previous video, plotting is a very slow process. As you can see from this graph, it can take anywhere from 5 to 12 hours or more to make a single plot. And with net space growing exponentially, that means that if you can only plot a few plots per day, it'll be a long time before you see any Chia. While pools will help with this when they come out on the 17th, Bram has said that if you want to join a pool, you're going to have to replot, essentially doubling the time you have to wait to start farming and getting Chia. Let me explain. The math here is pretty simple. With a current high-end desktop equipped with a shiny new i7 10700K and enough RAM and flash storage, you'll see about 16 to 20 plots per day. Even at 20 plots a day, it'll take you 50 days to fill 100 terabytes of storage with plots. You'll find after getting started that one of the biggest obstacles is actually filling the storage that you have with plots. So ideally you'd want multiple machines harvesting and creating plots to fill your storage in a reasonable amount of time. The problem is putting this build together costs you around $500 for just a CPU and the cheapest motherboard possible. You'll still need a case, a power supply, heatsink, and fans, as well as RAM. After getting all of these parts, you're going to be sitting at or above $1,000 even if you go bargain hunting. While pools will help, they will also increase net space, so if you have to wait 50 days to fill 100 terabytes and the net space is doubling every week like it is, then on May 17th when you decide to join a pool, now you have to replot and wait another 50 days to fill your drives once you actually join a pool. Well, you can do the math, but you could be waiting two to three months unless you have multiple systems capable of decent plotting performance. As a general rule of thumb, you can estimate needing about two terabytes of NVMe or SSD storage for every eight to 10 concurrent plots you'll be doing. This is a rough ballpark and your mileage may vary. You might be able to squeeze a little more out of a single two terabyte NVMe drive with the right stagger, but this is a safe estimate. So with that, let's go over our latest build. I'm seeing about 30 to 36 plots per day with this new build, and it's even cheaper than our previous build, coming in at around $600 to $700 depending on how you build it. Putting this together isn't a lot different than the T5810 in our previous video, besides the fact that it has two processors instead of one. You can either buy one with decent CPUs pre-installed and not have to worry about installing them yourself, or you can do what I did and install them yourself. Installing a processor is incredibly easy, and it takes just about 10 minutes to get the job done completely. There's a link in the video description below that walks you through exactly how to do it. So with that, let's go over CPU options. You can find links in the video description to purchase everything in this video. While I went with dual E5-2690 processors, the 2680 and E5-2687W are also great options. You can find the 2690s for about $75 a piece, and the 2680s for about $60 a piece. You'll want two CPUs for this desktop, and the 2690s are the better option out of the options listed here. You'll want about 3,390 megabytes of RAM per plot, potentially less if you stagger them well. So you'll want to grab an extra 64 gigabytes of RAM for this computer, Pairing a T5600 with two E5-2690 Xeon processors makes for a very capable system. The 2690s have 8 cores and 16 threads each, so if you have two in one server, you'll have 16 cores and 32 threads. I've found them to be very capable CPUs. They're very affordable as well. That said, going with one of the previously mentioned options won't slow you down much either. So now let's go over some of the details of this system. 
The T5600 does not support E5 2600 V2 processors. If you want to use V2 CPUs, you'll need the T5610. And if you can find a deal on a T5610, I'd suggest you go with the E5 2680 V2 Xeon processors, which make a really great pairing for the T5610. Links to some of these options are also in the video description, and the performance will be a little bit better than the E5 2680 V1 with a T5600 Dell Precision. One more thing to note is that if you're going to add NVMe drives to the Dell Precision, you'll need these NVMe to PCIe adapters. Since these are Xeon CPUs, one of the added benefits is the fact that you have four PCIe X16 slots. So you can add quite a few NVMe drives or HBAs for cheap SAS SSDs like I mentioned in my previous video. If you do what I did, you can ditch the GPU and use the fourth slot for more NVMe storage and just use SSH or RDP to manage the system remotely. While I wanted to keep this video short and just cut to the chase, if you go with one of our options in this video, or if you went with one of the previous options in our previous build video, please leave a comment below and let me know how it's working for you. I've got a few harvesters plotting right now, one E5 2699 V3 build and this new dual 2690 build. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It's really motivating me to keep making these videos for you guys and making different build guides.